Now, what do you need for sinus lifting? Okay, you need to be prepared. You can't just show up and do a sinus lift with, uh, with curettes from your hygiene kit. You need to have dedicated instruments and I'm just gonna share with you the list. You need a universal surgical kit, obviously. You need a sinus lift kit, which is osteotomes for the crestal or curette kit for the lateral. You need the bone graft. I use BIOS exclusively for sinus lifting. Why? Because I've been using it for 25 years. Uh, it works great. It's opaque. It has enough substance to um, to support the membrane. It looks nice. Uh, you know, it's radio opaque, and you know we see it radiographically. Plus, it's the most researched bone graft material for sinus lifting. Do other bone grafts work? Yes, they do. Do I use something else? No, I use BIOS, and I mix it with PRF, and I mix it with metronidazole. Collagen membrane. Uh, I always use it for lateral window. It's called the Biomend Extend. It's by Zimmer. It's, I don't have any uh, conflict of interest here. It, it's just what I use. Doctors wanted to know. Uh, you need to use a resorbable membrane on the, on the window once you did a window approach. I always have a collagen plug if I wanted to cushion the membrane for a crestal sinus lift. So I use either a collar plug or gel foam. Or when I lift the membrane, I use the collar plug and gel foam to tent the sinus membrane. I'm going to show you a case for that as well. Plus, you need to have the right sutures. If we're doing a lateral window, I'm going to be using Gore-Tex, mostly for lateral. But if I'm doing a, just a crestal sinus lift and I did a flap, I'm going to use GAT4O. And I'm going to have the post-op instruction sheet and share uh, the very important instructions for it.